Hey, hi everyone. In this particular lecture, we are going to learn about that how to use these test hooks in the Node.js native test runner. Well, hooks are the special functions that run before or after the test, right? So they help us to do the setups, uh, like connecting to a database or the tear down, like uh, closing connections, right? So this uh, makes our test code cleaner. It avoids duplication and ensures the consistency, right? So let's start the lecture. Let's see that how we work with it. So before starting, let me tell you a few of the hooks. The hooks that are uh, used in Node.js are before, after, before each and after each. We will learn about it in the later part. Let's first see the counter.js file. Uh, so here I'm having a class named counter, which I'm exporting, of course. Inside of this, we are having a, a constructor uh, where I'm saying that this dot value is equal to zero. And there's an increment method where the value uh, is incrementing by one and in the reset automatically the value will become zero right so this is a class now we are going to use it in our counter.test.js file how let's see so first of all what i'm going to do is that i will import the test from you tell me from where it will be from node test right and the second one is what second one is assert right so import assert from uh let's write here node assert like this but it after this let's call the uh, that particular class so i will import counter counter yeah counter from slash counter dot js right like this got it now after this let's start the main work so first of all i'll create the subtest that is test counter suit with hooks right so this is a test suit and inside of this we are going to write a lot of test uh, but let me explain you first that how we are going to work with it so i write async t arrow function like this and here i'll write let counter so i'm taking a variable named counter and now here i'm going to use all the hooks and then explain you everything so as you can see here the first hook okay let me just uh yeah it went okay format document so as you can see here uh first of all what i is doing that i'm using t dot before this is the first hook this is before is a first hook inside of this i'm having an arrow function right and it is written that console.log setting up resources so before starting we want that before all the tests get start uh, just do one thing that uh, run this particular before all the tests means i want something to run before all the tests will start running so there we use this before hook right and there's one more hook that is after it is just reverse of that that after completion of all the tests i want a particular uh, statement or the function to run we write it inside this after hook right after that there is one more which is runs before every test means whenever like you have written lots of tests inside this test suit right so i want that uh, before any test start a particular function or particular test uh, should run uh, basically for that purpose what we use we use before each right it will uh, doing something like uh, in this particular example it is doing what it is calling that particular function and creating the variable with this particular counter class that we have imported right now similarly there is one more which is runs after every test of using this after each hook means whenever a particular test will run after that after that particular test this particular function this particular function will run and it is doing what it is doing counter dot reset means it is calling this particular method which is making the value as zero right inside the constructor we are having a variable value equals right and the initial value is zero and after calling the increment the value is getting one and when the reset then again the value becomes zero so this is same what is happening that when you are working inside any test right let's say that you are doing some uh, of the task in which you are incrementing the values again and again right so when that particular test will end then it will do what 
it will uh, like for all the tests it will again make the value as zero right this is what it is used for similarly for before each it will create a variable having the class counter right now let's start with working with the actual test so for that purpose let me just go down and write actual test like this sorry yeah like this so here what i'll do is basically uh yeah so i'll write await await t dot test put a bracket here and here i'll uh, i say that increment uh, should increase the value by one this is my test right i want that increment should increase the value by one right i want to test this that whether the value is incrementing or not so i'm just creating a arrow function here and i'm writing counter dot increment right is the spelling correct or not let's let's just copy it from here otherwise it will show me a error right so let me just paste it yeah it was correct so let's just write the bracket here and after that since uh as you can see before it means whenever this particular test will run first of all this will run before of that and it will create a counter class right and then i'm calling this particular method which is increment of the counter which means the value is now one right the value is now one not zero so we that's what we are going to check so we will put the condition with the help of assert dot strict equal and inside of this we'll write counter dot value right because this value variable is inside this counter right so now after that put a comma here and make it test that whether it is equals to one or not right so let's just save it and go to the terminal here i'll write node dash dash test let's put a gap here and press enter and you can see that first of all it did what let me show you it did what it first do that setting up the resources so before starting i told you that you need to run this before right so it if you want any like when you are running lots of case tests right so you want something to start at the first right before all the tests will start you want something to get started so there we use before and that's what you can see when before all the tests start we are getting setting up resources from here right after that it is doing what it is cleaning up the resources and uh, then the counter suit with the hook means we came here as you can see here that is okay wait 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 uh, where it went yeah so you can see the counter suit with hooks and there uh, our this particular test where the increment should increase by the value of one this particular test is now correct why because the value of counter dot value is equals to one right so you can understood from here that uh, before this particular test test run definitely the, this particular before it should also get started that's why we got this counter class here right and then we use the counter dot increment here got it so this is how we work now let's test it again for some other test right like await t dot test and put a bracket here and inside of this i'll write reset should set value to zero so let's check for the reset right so let's create the arrow function here and uh, let's do one thing that since before this particular test will start definitely this will run it will create the counter class right so i'll do what i uh, and definitely when this is on the top so here the counter value is now equals to one but when this particular test get ended then this will run right so this is doing what it will making the res it is making the value as reset it is calling this reset method right so it make the value now zero value equals to zero it has done it so again we are calling the counter dot increment like this got it and then i'm saying counter dot reset so first of all it is making the value as one and then it is again making the value as zero and after doing both the thing i'll write assert dot strict equal and inside of this i'll write counter dot value 
comma zero like this got it now let's check for this test also so let's go to the terminal let's clear everything and write node dash dash test press enter and yes you can see that reset should set value to zero this particular test is also correct and we are getting the counter value equals to zero this time why because we understood that first of all the value got increased to one then it got decreased to zero and then after that we made the check which is strict equal to the value as equals to zero and yes it is zero that's why our test got successfully passed right so i hope you understood the concept that how we use this uh, particular method or hooks in the node.js native test runner and thank you so much for watching goodbye